Hello everyone, it's me, Jay Skibby, and welcome to Poofy's Bunker, my very first game, the first game I ever made, and also the largest game that I ever made. Now, I've never done a series on this game on the channel before. I have done a live stream where I went through the game 100% of the way, but I've never done a developer commentary series on it, so I'm trying it out. If you guys want to see more of this, Poofy's Bunker, watch the video. Simply watch the video, like the video, comment on the video, you know, the whole grand scheme of things. And if it does, well, I will continue the series. So much like Undertale, don't let it fail. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's my plan on Buffy's Bunker. We're just going to jump right into the game. We're going to go straight into Artie's memoir first. If I do decide... Way back. When I was born, my grandmother gave me a stuffed Buffy as a gift. My mother and father tried to take it from me, but it upset me so much that they just ended up letting me keep it. They didn't think very highly of my grandmother. When I'd ask why, they'd always change the subject or give vague answers to the question. As I was growing up, my parents would fight a lot. It got worse and worse every passing day, and it upset me very much. I'd always go to Boofy for comfort in these times. I'd lie in bed and pray that things would be different when I woke the next morning. One day, my prayers were answered. That's where our story begins. So things were indeed different when he awoke the next morning, for he did not awake in his bed, but in his mind. So I've had a lot of people report bugs in this game. It was like the main menu not loading and all that good stuff. And uh, So we got our graphics settings here. Everything should already be set to high. We got our controls. And we got how to play rock radio. Well, hi there. I'm how to play rock radio. Yes. If you go through one of these doors, you'll be locked in Boofy's bunker with Boofy himself. The main exit is blocked off with some locked doors. Each door has a matching magic key hidden somewhere inside the bunker. And these keys are huge. Just carrying one of them would exhaust anybody. What makes them magic, you ask? Well, they teleport to a random location inside the bunker if they're put down. Make sure you crouch down and catch your breath every once in a while or you'll exhaust yourself. If you get exhausted, just make sure you rest for a while and you'll be running again in no time. Your lamp has very limited energy supply, so use it wisely. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Oh, and watch out for Boofy. Why am I telling you all this? I'm not. It's all in your head. You're crazy. Now go get some keys, crazy pants. It's all part of the story. So we're going to go into Boofy's Bunker Easy Mode first. Um, oh man, Laura is so huge in this game. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go through, I'm going to get all these secrets. Micro Horror Arcade's now available via the main menu. I'm going to unlock every Easter egg I can in each level as I go through the easy modes. There's the Padre Snow Mizzle trophy. <laughs> and then we got the Foo Cat trophy. Oh my god, these models are so old! Jesus, dude, this game- oh my god, and the cam shake. Dude, just looking back at my first game, like, it has its charm, you know what I mean? But it's- it's- oh, It's something else. This is gonna be an adventure. And then we got the kitchen. And then we have Dave right over here. Oh yeah, that's Dave. Good times, Dave. Good times. I remember when I first put Dave in this game. Um, I think we're just missing one more now. The uh, see, we got the arcade machine. We got the kitchen. We need to get the back room. So, what key am I looking for first? Is it green? It's green. Okay. Oh God, I'm hitting E to interact too much. Too much uh, around the clock at Bikini Bottom. There we go. All right, so now Boofy's up. Not sure where he spawned. Yeah, this camp shake, I'm glad I don't do an intense ass camp shake like this in my games anymore. That's Boofy right there. Okay, he went left. Holy God, this camp shake will make you dizzy. Forgot I had a flashlight. <laughs> All right, so now, oh, we want back rooms, but I kind of want to grab a key first. If there's a key down here. Is there a key down here? There's, I mean, there are keys. Dude, I don't even remember my own game. What? My god. Alright, back rooms. Remember how you could, like, cl no clip out of reality into the back rooms? This is- oh, I'm going this way because this is where the original back rooms exit was. This used to be where the only one was. You had to actually go this way, but nobody could find it, and they were just stuck forever. Oh, man. God, this game is so clever. 
I can't wait to like start making more like larger scale games like this. I really want to. Like I want to make a shooter game. I want to make some like actual arcade stuff, like a micro horror arcade arcade game where it's like a bunch of like short little horror scenarios and challenges that the player can do. I have no idea where Boofy is. Where's Boofy? Like he's round. Oh. Oh, he out here. Oh, he's here. Is he coming or gone? <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god, I fucking missed this game. Another thing I want to do that this game utilized really well with my future games is not use UI so much. Like, I overuse the shit out of UI. M mostly in this version of the game, like Boofy's Bunker. I'm just going for it, man. I think he went downstairs. I think that's why I can't hear him now. Like, there's so many other things I can do game dev wise that I, I could take from this game and other games that I've made and just like get the best out of these games, you know? He doesn't use the vents in this uh, in easy mode either, if I remember correctly. So Boofy's pretty much super easy to handle here. What's the last one? I think there's only four doors. Yeah, white. It was back in the library. The library. <laughs> that kills me, dude. That fucking kills me. Give me a headache. I like when I made the the head bob. I tried to um. I tried to take Victor Strabovsky's head bob, and use that. Like I tried to mimic that the best I could because I love the head bob from B Victor Strabovsky, Advanced Education, but I couldn't. This is like the closest I could get to it because you know I just started making games, so everything was brand new to me. But yeah, that's the last, that's the last one, and I'm sure we're gonna find bugs. I'm sure we'll find bugs. So there's a um there's like a crouch bug here somewhere. Where you can like get on top of the bunker while a door is opening, I think. I have no idea. I don't I don't remember how it works, but um we're done with easy bud. Boofy Sedge Maze is now available. Yay! I forgot about Boofy Sedge Maze. How did I forget about that? So anyway, and a trophy. Alright. Look at us go. Unlocking everything. Story. I try to think of reasons I ended up there in Boofy's bunker. And I can never think of anything logical. The closest explanation I had was something that someone said to me a few years ago about dreams and parallel dimensions. Something like, what if when we fell asleep, our consciousness left our body and into another world that happens to exist in the same exact place as ours, but in another plane? It's a far-fetched theory, but it's all I've got. The radio said it was all in my head. But something told me that I shouldn't trust everything I heard in there. I knew I had to keep searching every corner of the bunker to find answers. Now, obviously, all this story is explained in, um... Gotta love how quiet it gets. So we got the Hall of Memory. I love how, uh, like, obviously, all the story is explained in Boofy's Birthday Adventure. And here's the Hall of Memories. You can revisit all your memories. The first door is the one that we heard when we first walked in, or we first loaded the game up, and the second door is the one we just got. So let's go back to the main menu. Let's look at these Easter eggs and trophies I unlocked, and let's look at these extra levels that I unlocked. Like we'll, we'll take a we'll take a little peek. All right, so we have the Padre Snow Mizzle trophy. Now that around the clock and bikini bottoms out, you guys know that that audio is actually the Alpha Jelly and scream when Patrick kicks him. And then we have Dave. Scrambled eggs. That has nothing to do with anything. He just randomly said that. And then Fukat. I got my dinosaur. Too kooky. Oh my god, I love Fukat. And then Boofy. Yep. Not near as loud as I remember, but it's it's still Boofy. Alright, sweet. So we have what do we unlock? We unlock the hedge maze. You just click the ladder. Man, this game is so charming. It's easy mode, normal mode. Oh, hard and extreme is not unlocked until you do these. Just the way back, and then. Well, hey there, partner. I'm tips and tricks total. No. If you ever get stuck on anything or have an enemy that you don't know what he does, I'm your man. I know just about anything about everything up in here. <laughs> just let me know if you need anything, buddy. 
Thanks, man. Everybody, everybody say hi to Tips and Tricks Totem. He's from Florida. <laughs> you guys all know that. Okay, so anyway, that's that. We have the back rooms. You guys know what the back rooms are. Oh, yeah. The back rooms. I'm not going to go over the how to play Rock Radio until I actually go into the easy modes of these. I'm just going to kind of explore a little bit inside of these extra little realms that we have unlocked. Uh, oh my god, can you see the- you can see the shadows from the doors that aren't spawned there. That's hilarious. God, and then we had the arcade, the micro horror arcade. Easy, normal exit, and then you got tips and tricks here. Man, I put so much work into this game. God, it's like, it brings back so many memories. Like, I worked on this thing for like three months straight. Like, it's all I did, then we have the kitchen. God, dude. Oh, I want to make another game like this so bad. It's so clever. And I do I do plan on remastering it. Like, I plan on going back. I plan on using the skills that I have now and the skills that I'm going to learn. And I'm going to remake the whole game eventually. I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. But at some point, I'll do it. But yeah, that's um, that's everything from the first level. Again, if you guys want to see more of Boofy's Bunker, let me know in the comments. Like the video, watch the video, spread the video around the internet. And, and if it does well, and if I think the series would be consistent on the channel, then I'll finish the game. I'll play this whole game, I'll put my, all my insight, my dev commentary, my reactions from my memories, all the secrets, I'll, I'll do everything in this game. You guys know, you guys have seen what I did with Around the Clock. Around the Clock did well, and those are the fruits of a good performing series. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this dev commentary of Boopies Bunker. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.